Hello, welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl at the Made on Sunday studio. We talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if those are of any interest to you, then remember to subscribe to follow along. Now, right now, I am in the process of creating my very first Skillshare class called Canva Basics to launch your creative business. Side note, if you are a new entrepreneur and you are wanting to launch with professional and beautiful graphics, but you're not a graphic designer and you're not ready to hire a professional designer yet, then this class might be perfect for you. So I'm just gonna leave and drop the wait list below in the description. And when the course comes out, I'll also switch out that link with the Skillshare class, but I'll also email you when it comes out. But in today's video, I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes look at how I planned my course um, on Notion. You guys know that I absolutely love Notion and I use it for pretty much to organize everything in my life and business. And when it came to course creation, it was the perfect place for me to organize all of my ideas and thoughts and direction for the class. It was just the perfect all in one place to organize everything regarding my class in one place. So I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes look at my Notion um, kind of page that I've created for myself. And just a sneak peek, I did create this Notion template that is available to purchase in my shop now. Uh, but feel free to just watch this video and create it yourself if you like. If you're comfortable with Notion, it's super easy to create it yourself. Um, but if you want to start off with the template, it's also available um, in my shop right now. All right, let's hop onto my laptop and let's check out my course creation planner on Notion. Hello, welcome to my laptop. So this is my Notion page that I created for my new class, Canva Basics, Launch Your Creative Business. It's a Skillshare class, go check it out. Um, but uh, when I was um, starting out this idea, I had like so many different kind of things that I knew I needed to plan out. And I know when you're creating a course, you're like really excited, right? Like you have course name ideas you're like oh this can benefit my clients in this way oh i want to sell it to this kind of person oh um you know all of these different ideas and then you have to like start planning out the timing you're like oh my gosh like it gets a little bit overwhelming in the beginning because you're just so excited to like finally like have something that you're so proud of to like share into the world um but all of those ideas need to be stored somewhere and written down. And I know like some people use like Google Docs or um, I don't know, notes and stuff to like write all this down. But it's really like not that ideal because you're having one document for scripts or for each kind of lesson uh, and then you have another calendar that's here and there. And then you have your uh, the plan of the course and another Google Doc. And so it's just like different things in different places. This just keeps everything in one place. So let me just show you like, I'll just go through it with you. So I just have my course name up here. Um, and then I start off by writing down who I want to target with this class. So for my class, um, it's a Canva class for people, for non-designers. So it's, it's a designing class for non-designers who want to launch their business with beautiful graphics. So that's kind of my ideal audience type here. So I kind of wrote down some notes exactly like usually female entrepreneurs because the style that I'm going for is quite feminine. Um, probably best for like service-based uh, providers, but they don't have to be. This is just like the target audience. Age, like it's pretty wide range, 25 to 50 worldwide since it's an online uh, course. And then uh, for those who are just starting out their business. And then the key takeaway is a part that's very important to kind of start listing out because you want to make sure that while you're creating this course, you are hitting these key takeaways that your audience is getting. So for me, the top four key takeaways is that they learn how to actually start 
using Canva and quickly design the essential uh, graphics for entrepreneurs. So that's like the number one point of this class, right? If I don't deliver on this key takeaway, then my class has failed. The second key takeaway is that they are able to create these beautiful business admin documents themselves. The third one is they can create social media graphics and templates that they can keep using. And the fourth one is they come out feeling confident and looking professional to their potential clients. So those are kind of like the four most important parts of uh, what I want my audience to take away from by taking my course. So the next section is course name ideas. So I started out like writing different, different ideas for the names. And then this is like what it ended up to be. So I guess you really do get like a really sneak peek. This is like super rough draft of the rough draft and the final kind of version of um, this, even though I haven't completed the course at the time of filming this yet. So some of this might change as well, uh, but that's why it's awesome to have this one page on Notion so that you can keep growing it and improving it as you uh, keep designing and creating your course. The next section is class description. Now this is a Skillshare class. So this section class description and project description is something that I have to write for Skillshare. Um, but this is something that you'll probably need to write anyways for any online course, because this will show up either on your landing page or when you're marketing your uh, class or even on the class itself, wherever it's hosted, you'll probably have somewhere where you have to write the description of your class. So this is the description of mine. And then the next section is project description. And again, this is very specific to Skillshare. Um, on Skillshare classes, every class needs to have a project that you can complete. For mine specifically, I have created a download where you can get like a ton of Canva templates, like beautifully pre-designed Canva templates for each of these things. So throughout the lessons, we'll go over how to use a template and then customize it to your own brand and business. And that's the project. So I just like wrote it up here so that I can just literally copy and paste it into my Skillshare class. The next section is the actual meat of everything. So this is the course modules or lessons. Um, so how I organized it is um, I really wanted to see like a checklist of what I've actually completed as I go through each lesson. So for each lesson, I've created, um, you know, a line item for it in this database. So I've there's the title of the class. Um, let me open one of them. This is a note on branding. So there, when you click into it, you're going to see my whole script here as well. Um, and then you can write other things here as well. Like for example, if you want to write down all of this, the B rolls you have to take for this, if you have to write key takeaways for each lesson, that might be important too. Or maybe you want to write down a lesson description, like for example, in your lesson, if it's a video, there might be accompanying description with it. So you want to maybe write that for each lesson in here as well. For me, I use it mostly to write my script so that when I'm filming, I literally just open this and then I can uh, just read off of my script. And then for each lesson, I, I have all of these like different columns of like whether I've written the script, whether I filmed it, edited it, uploaded it and um, create the cover. Clearly, I'm still chipping away at all of these tasks, but I love having this kind of like one look overview of the different lessons and what I have completed and what I still need to do so far. And then most of these lessons are filmed on Loom, just like this video is. So I have also included the Loom video links here. Um, and then the project uh, link is like the Canva template that I have. Uh, some of these lessons, like I said, include like beautiful Canva templates pre-designed. So I've also linked the Canva template link there as well. Um, and then I've created a separate database for all of the other tasks um, that are just like kind of like one-off tasks. Um, these 
I, I really wanted to see the lessons and all of the different stages of it. Uh, but for these ones, they're just like one-off tasks that I can easily associate a calendar due date. So instead of like a D-U-E date, like a due date, um, I, I write down like when I plan to actually do the, the thing. Um, and then that will then um, translate into this calendar. So if I add an item here with a due date, that will automatically populate into this calendar here. So I can kind of see like where all the things are placed and whether I actually have enough time to complete the whole uh, course. Um, I'm still populating this right now. So that's why it's like so little. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm quite the last minute planner in terms of all the other things like the marketing of it all. Um, but anyways, yeah. So if you want, you can actually like these don't have due dates and this won't show it in the calendar but what you can do is you can create a task for that lesson so if you name these lessons or if you number these lessons you can be like um film lesson one and then add a due date so i really wanted to keep those separate again just because i wanted these like checklists specifically only for the course creation tasks in case you didn't hear, I've already mentioned before that I've actually created um, a template that's already available in my shop. It is right here. If you head to madeonsundays.com and you head to my shop, you can head to this listing right now. Um, I've created this template. It's only 20 bucks. Um, it's not really like like I created it just so you know you can get a head start on your course creation process so once you purchase this you're gonna get um, this planner right here and then um, it's 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 just like a template so I kind of walk through it with you in terms of how you can customize it to your business and then I've also created like um, these like templates for you so if you create a new uh, module there's like a course module template here um, where you can write your script and all of the dif different things that you might need for your specific needs for your modules. Um, and yeah, everything I showed you just now is in template form and it's available to be purchased in my shop. So if you don't want to design this out yourself on Notion, then go ahead and purchase the template and you can start designing your course right away. And that is it. So that is my whole course creation process on Notion. And I hope this was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. And remember to subscribe to watch more videos like this. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>